If you want to become a cloud security engineer in this new year, then you need to watch this video to the end. I don't think there's any resource out there that will break it down to you the way this video will. I remember back in 2021 when I was still a cyber threat analyst planning on becoming a cloud security engineer by the end of 2022. Contrary to my original plan, I was actually able to break into the industry in the first quarter of 2022, less than six months after my original plan. And in this video, I'll be giving you the blueprint that helped me start my career in cloud security and how you can start your own career in cloud security in this new year. Let's get right into it. Quick disclaimer, although most of this video is based on my personal experience, I will be drawing some inspiration from Nick Joe's blog on breaking into cloud security. The link to this blog will be in the description below. I highly recommend reading it. First and foremost, start from where you already are. There's absolutely no need to reinvent the wheel. If you're already in a tech, cloud, or cybersecurity adjacent role, then just start from there. If you are a cybersecurity analyst like I was, then start learning cloud security. If you are an IT auditor, then start learning cloud compliance and auditing. If you are a software engineer, then start learning cloud engineering and architecture as it relates to security. If you are a DevOps engineer, then start learning the security skills to build on the DevOps experience that you've already acquired. The bottom line is, as long as you have the tech, cloud, DevOps, or cybersecurity related experience, that's enough to start from and build the security knowledge you need to get into cloud security. The next thing you need to do is to build the technical skills for the cloud security roles you want. When it comes to cloud security, there is a lot of knowledge base you need to cover. Cloud security engineers do not work in a vacuum. As a cloud security engineer, you're responsible for ensuring that the infrastructure and services that other developers and engineers are building and utilizing in your cloud environments are secure. That being said, that would require a lot of knowledge about various cloud services like IAM, compute, storage, networking, database, and so much more. Eventually, you might even venture into specializing in one of these things like, for example, cloud storage security, but more on specialization later in this video. Building on the last point of cloud security engineers not working in a vacuum, if you already do not have solid communication skills, then this is something that you might have to work on. Some cloud security roles might require continuous collaboration with engineers from other team, and having strong communication skills will be extremely beneficial for these roles. Now that we've gone over some trivial things, let's actually go over some resources that can help you build the skills you need to become a cloud security engineer. These resources are going to be based on a guide I made as a contribution to Learn to Cloud, an open source cloud learning framework made by Gwen and Rishab. Links to Learn to Cloud as well as Gwen and Rishab's YouTube channels will be in the description below. In phase five of Learn to Cloud, I built off the first four phases by adding practical learning resources that are relevant to cloud security. Although I'll only be in my top two resources, there will be a ton more on Learn to Cloud. Starting with my top two cloud security labs, my recommendation will be Floss2.cloud by Scott Piper and Cloud Goat by Rhino Security Labs. I've done walkthroughs of the Floss2 lab and I'll link the full playlist on the top right corner of the screen as well as in the description below. Next, my two project recommendations will be the Azure Cloud Detection Lab by Charles from Cyberos Academy and the Azure Sentinel Tutorial by Josh Metacor. Finally, my top two practical cloud security certification recommendations recommendations will be the Offensive Azure Security Professional from CloudBreach and the Certified Azure Red Team Professional from Pettester Academy. I've done an in-depth review of the Offensive Azure Security Professional certification and will link the review video in the description below. In addition to these labs and projects, learning providers like Udemy, A Cloud Guru, and Cloud Academy are great for specialized cloud security courses and vendor-specific cloud security certification courses. I also recommend going over the well-architected framework from these various cloud providers. These contain a ton of information on how the providers recommend you build security infrastructure on their platforms. All of these frameworks are listed in Nick's blog. The next thing is specializing. Now, I have been very fortunate to land my very first cloud security role in a very specific niche and highly specialized role of cloud threat detection and cloud detection engineering. But bear in mind that this is not always the case. Your first cloud security role will most likely not be a specialized role. However, you can always work towards building the skills for various specializations like cloud offensive security, cloud governance risk and compliance, cloud detection engineering, cloud security engineering, and various other cloud security related fields out there. You really don't need to worry about this in the beginning. Over time, as long as you make the right career decisions, you will naturally find yourself in the role that best fits your skills. Finally, I'm a very big advocate of learning by doing, as well as putting in the effort that you need to get to where you wanna be. In order to gain any of these skills, you're going to need to put in some very serious time and practice. Cloud security is by no means a trivial field, and most roles have very 
high standards. However, if you have the willingness and focus that are needed to gain these high demand skills for these various roles, then you're definitely bound to get your foot in the door within the cloud security industry, just like I did. That's really all there is. Those are my tips on how to get into cloud security. Once again, all the resources will be linked in the description below. If you're not familiar with Azure security and want to learn about Azure subdomain enumeration, then check out the video to the left of the screen. And if you want to learn how to exploit a remote code execution in Azure and further use that to abuse Azure Kubernetes misconfigurations, then check out the video to the right of the screen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.